definitely in my time, the way that Paralympic sport is viewed has changed significantly. My achievements are ranked beside that you're able to counterpart much, much more closer now. We don't do it for a pat on the back, we're not doing participation at all, and we're turning up to train hard to win. sort of 10 years or so the perception of the swim team has, has changed and I think a lot of that is to do with of that high performance culture and of that success that we've been having. People have started to like prick an ear up and actually listen and sort of see that we're not, it isn't participation based, it is about winning and you know when you see any of us train you see the effort that's going in and you see that there is some, some blood, sweat and tears that's being put into winning these medals and it's not just being handed to you on a plate. I've never really had a poor me attitude, um, and I'm sure if I did have it at any point in my childhood, my parents definitely would have shook that out of me and been like, nah mate, that's not, not on my watch. And I'm very, very fortunate that my parents didn't treat me any differently to my brothers and sisters. And I think that's put a, sort of put me in good stead for, for later in life because I don't see myself as, as being disabled or that being an excuse not to go and do things. So I like to get stuck in and uh, you know, give everything a crack. Of course, you've got to do things differently, but I think that's, um, that's a key point to living with a disability. You've just got to figure out a way to get around things. When I made that choice to, uh, to invest in my own future as, a, as an athlete, what changed was just training intensity. So the intensity lifted. So you weren't just having a couple of good sessions a week, you were having several good sessions a week, you know, all of them are quality. I'd say I'd train as hard as my able-bodied counterparts. I mean, what they're doing with their body is similar to mine, and the only difference is that they've got more muscles to do it, so I'm working my muscles that I've got, that propels me through the water consistently, like there is no escaping them, it's all I've got to propel myself, I can't exactly stop and do a kick set. <laughs> For me in those hard training sessions it's all about like, it'll be worth it in the end, don't worry Cam, it'll be worth it in the end. Or, like, for me I've always had just two words does it for me, just do it. Do it is all I say to myself, right, do it. You only really Acknowledge that when you're on the podium and you're hearing the New Zealand national anthem and you're seeing our flag raised, you've got your hand on your chest and you're, you're sort of looking back and thinking of the journey that it took to get there in those hard training sessions in those days where you didn't want to get up or you couldn't be bothered, where you're sort of like, oh God, so worth it. And it's so cliche, but it is so true. Like you stand up there and you just have a moment where you're just like, I am so glad I actually did that.